What is up, me little sugar buggers? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. Good morning, you guys. So it is Marlo's birthday today, which is super duper exciting. She is going to be aging into a full-fledged adult, and what a great way to start this new era of her life by obviously starting a little fam bam. Ben, on the other hand, is preparing some pancakes for Marlo because that is her favorite breakfast food. That with a little side of sausage, if you know what I'm saying, and maybe even uh, some Weibos if you're feeling freaky. So I wanted to go ahead very briefly and update you a little bit on my life. Um, as you guys know, I have been moving, hence why LPs have literally been so shoddy. This entire year, if I'm being honest, has been one of the most delicate, difficult, and honestly, just crazy years of my life lives life I only have one <laughs> pandemic aside like everybody is kind of feeling it right now but like especially with everything um that has been changing in my personal like I guess life it's just been even harder now I love how I told Ben to go and make some pancakes but I'm assuming he specifically made those for Marlo because there is no other serving to be had so obviously he's gonna go ahead and let her go and start chowing down it's all about her today um, he even decided to like stay home or work from home so that he could uh, help take care of Kale and kind of let Marlo go about her business pamper herself I do believe she might go for a massage a little bit later but anyway as I was saying um yeah life has just been crazy and so this last year I, I've been posting very erratically um and that's just because of adjusting so now that I'm in my new place I have my own office um I've got a better setup with my like filming equipment I'm really excited to see what's, what this next year brings obviously a lot more consistency because I used to be the queen of consistency but life decided to say psych and yeah I'm really pumped so anyway just wanted to say thank you for like bearing with me and um you know all the things all the things so anyways ben just tried to feed honcho i know that a couple of you guys were saying in the comments that honcho should go and live with i think i forgot her name a blossom i was gonna call her mary for some reason and that isn't necessarily a bad idea um a lot of you guys were kind of concerned about honcho like eating the child which is a very valid concern but honcho's a part of the family i couldn't get rid of him it would literally kill ben uh to do so speaking of kale i think he's still asleep even though he should be um, waking up. It is like 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Hopefully my mic sounds okay. I kind of have it at a very awkward location. Again, new setup, new me. Who's this? I don't know. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna go and have, uh, Ben wake up Kale. And then I'm thinking he probably needs to give him a bath because he is stinking up a funk. Yeah, definitely, definitely needing, um, a bath. And then I also saw in the comments that you guys think, I love how y'all are like baby proofing this house it's the best okay so we got honcho down another suggestion was actually making this the master bedroom um just because obviously we've got like the worms and the grubs and the bees out here uh not to mention there's like a ladder and that kind of seems relatively dangerous the only thing about doing that would be um the size difference it's kind of difficult to give kale the 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 big master bedroom and then shove Marlo and Ben in here but I'm not saying we won't do it okay we could use a little extra room um for Kale's toys but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna just have Ben come over here and he has no idea what the heck he's doing but he's gonna give Kale a bubble bath now he's a little scared okay and by little I mean a lot <laughs> that it's gonna be too hot it's too cold um so he's gonna do the old uh elbow method you know what I mean just if, if it's too hot for your elbow it's a no-go um Marlo on the other hand she is going to watch Ben give Kale a little bath but ultimately um she feels so appreciative over her husband right now uh she wants to embrace him but we do need to go and take a shower ourselves I kind of was thinking maybe she go clean she could clean the shower but it's her birthday we're not gonna worry about that also side note um we didn't get each other presents just for the simple fact that you know adoption was quite quite spendy so basically Kale is our present or birthday present for both of them does that make sense okay i don't know why uh ben isn't he doesn't want to take him away from playing with the dollhouse that is so sweet hopefully he'll be able to do it now I, I always have issues with this bathroom so at first i was wondering maybe it was like user error i'm not sure um but yeah oh my god i just realized he has 
has a little lion on his nalguitas. Oh, sweet baby. He is so damn cute. And Ben wants to kiss Marlo. I love this so much. Um, okay, so after a little shower, we're going to come over and brush our dientes. And then I'm thinking we should go and see what we can get into for the day. Um, let me go and have her explore. I was thinking of maybe going out with Jade. We're going to keep tonight's birthday party. You're not even a birthday party. It's not, I don't think Marlo wants to have a birthday party just because of obviously it being so expensive. Um, but she would like to, at the very least, go do something maybe with his Jade. So we can take her to the herbal tea house. We could also go to um, the luxury buffet, Bella and Eliza's ice cream shop, the field of screams, haunted houses. Uh, what else could we do? Ever crystal clear everyday fashion, the bathhouse, the zoo. We could watch a movie maybe. Um, I'm actually thinking uh, Jade would love to take her to the, or actually, you know what? What if she went with Blossom instead? Because that actually feels a little more organic to me. Um, Blossom's all about the herbal teas, right? So let's do that instead. I think she actually even has a, a teapot in her house. So we'll go with her. She's going to take her out. I think that is so cool. Like, honestly, Blossom has, has become like uh, a mother almost to Marlo. It's really amazing. I love seeing that. So let's go and check up on Ben. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how it's going, but it looks like it's going good. Okay. I'm very excited. Uh, we also do need to go over the question of the day. Good job. He's wearing slippers in the bath. I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last episode, Knox came over to the house and tried to have a conversation with Ben. Now, Dark Prince has had a really good theory and I almost kid bet that this is exactly what had happened. I feel like Knox came around because he knew it was Ben's birthday coming up. I assume if Mars' birthday is soon, then so is Ben's. And he wanted to let Ben know that he had a lot of time to think about everything and that he forgives him and there's no hard feelings. He has also met someone new in the town that he moved to and is seeing how things go with that person. And that's exactly what happened. Knox decided to come over and squash the beans because life is genuinely too short to hang on to grudges. Not to mention, he is in a really good, hello there, sir. He's in a really good place in his life right now. And he kind of wants Ben to share in that happiness. And not to mention, Ben's also in a really good spot in his life because they just adopted their brand new baby boy. So obviously, we got to tell Knox about that. But Ben just wanted to kind of get a kickstart on potty training. I'm not exactly sure when Kale actually ages up. Holy crap, he ages up in nine days, so we already have a little bit of a boost with him. Um, I don't remember exactly how old he was when he came home, but I feel like he wasn't like a fresh toddler, so I kind of want to see what else we need. I love how Ben did not anticipate how busy a toddler was going to be. Like, he has been non stop taking care of kale and it is one o'clock in the afternoon so we're gonna come down here we're gonna feed him we're gonna give him a peanut butter and jelly peanut butter and jelly sandwich as a kid those were literally like freaking gold those were my favorite 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 like lunch foods and of course we got to give a little a little hug um to our trash bag now this house honestly is the most impractical home uh to raise kids in but thankfully um kale won't be a toddler forever now the thing about all of this is um, I do believe by the time that he's like freaking a teenager, no, a child even. Oh my God, we're going to be so old. We're going to be so freaking old. Um, it was definitely a good idea that, uh, <laughs> that Ben and Marlo adopted a, a, an older child, but not necessarily in like, you know, like a super old child. So, um, anyways, I want Ben to come over here and grab a little, a little leftover, a leftover? Do we even have leftovers, actually? Um, we do have leftovers. So we're going to grab that because we're a little hungry, too. We also need to go to the bathroom. And Marlo just came home. And look who came with Blossom. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I kind of want to give her, like, a super big squeeze. She is absolutely incredible. And I'm going to be so sad. Like, so, 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 so sad when she passes. I know. I don't mean to get dark, but like it's a very real like possibility. We're not getting any younger. She sure as hell isn't. Um, but she's just like I said earlier, became she's became like a mother to Marlo. And that is honestly like irreplaceable. So we're going to give her a hug. 
um, because she actually <laughs> gave us the nicest gift ever. She got us a tea magic personal brewer and then I just noticed we had uh, these little shoes in our inventory as well which I actually think belong to Kale so I'm not quite certain where I would like to put these um, but maybe I'll stick them. Would it be weird to stick them over here? It's not like the most I guess like perfect place to put them but it doesn't look too bad actually it looks kind of cute so we'll put those there and then the only thing about this brewer um is that we have very limited counter space so if i wanted um to use it i would actually have to put it over here but um i don't think i'll be able to do that and also it's not gonna shoot i really want to use this but i don't have any room what can we do i was wondering if maybe we got like a little half counter this might be so janky, but I'm almost willing to just roll with the punches so I can use this. Um, can we, ooh, hold on a second. Would this look silly? This is not gonna work. <laughs> this is a bad idea, Jed. This is a bad idea. Maybe we just, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to like get upstairs. This is, I mean, it kind of looks like a little caddy, right? Like it doesn't look too bad. I mean, maybe if we put it over here, this would be a way better idea. Um, we'll put it over here. Actually, just kidding. Um, where is the other side to this without the little, like this one? This one looks a little bit better. Okay, so we'll put this here. Maybe we can do a different swatch so it kind of blends in. This looks so bad. Okay, I'm not going to cry about it right now. We'll figure it out later. But like I said, Marlo really wants to try some of the brand new tea recipes that she got from this class, I guess, or whatever it was. Um, but anyway, we're saying goodbye to we're saying goodbye to Blossom because that was that was so much fun. Totally appreciate you. Thank you for making my birthday uber special. Um, and yeah, we'll just have her go <laughs> hit, hit the road because it's a little, it's a little, oh, she's going to do it anyway. She's got her bicycle out. Oh, she's giving Marlo a hug goodbye. I love her. That is so cute. All right, so let's go inside. Um, she wants to embrace Ben. Obviously, she's going to walk in and see them eating together, which is going to seriously just like warm up her heart. We also need to have Ben prepare a little birthday cake for Marlo because it is like three o'clock. Kale is feeling really antsy in this high chair and wants to get the hell out. In fact, he would really like to be read a book or maybe watch some TV, but he'll settle for playing with a toy at the very least. So while Ben is preparing um, a nice little birthday cake, we're going to actually have Marlo kind of take over uh, a little bit and um you know just kind of entertain kale because ben is feeling freaking exhausted like so freaking tired he also would like to make a um happy birthday fizz for marlo but i'm not sure if we're gonna get around to that uh i love how tina came over to you know wish marlo a happy birthday obviously we're not gonna be rude we're gonna invite her in because she also would like to take a little gander at kale um and then let me see we should probably let him out because he's gonna end up like throwing the freaking plates everywhere is is it Tina pregnant? <gasps> Are you serious? I think you guys, she's pregnant. Oh, <gasps> no way. Oh my God, how exciting. What the heck? Are you serious? I kind of want to see, but I almost, I'm not sure if she is or she isn't. Like, I'm kind of, I'm a little, I'm like, should I ask or should I not? She kind of looks like she's pregnant, but I'm not really sure. You know what? If you win in doubt, <laughs> don't let it out because I'm probably going to say the wrong thing. All right, you know what? I need to let Kale out of the, out of the high chair because he's getting really, 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 really angry. Um, Let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hug him lovingly. How about that? And then maybe I'll help Ben kind of clean up a little bit. Also, Marlo wanted to check out the brand new tea maker. There's just so many things going on here. And I wanted to try to fit in like a beach day in this episode. It's probably not going to happen. I am, I'm feeling really ambitious today. Can you tell? All right. So we let him out. And what is Ben doing? He is waiting for the cake to be done. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute. Oh, <laughs> I love him so much. Like, he just fits so well into our family. I love how he is keeping them forever, endlessly on their toes. Ben needs to come over here before somebody puts their little manitos in the uh, cake. He needs to add some birthday candles. And what does Kale want? He is probably going to just hang out for a quick little second. I feel like Marlo should probably blow out the candles now rather than later. But, I mean, are we ready to be an adult? I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm so so not ready but 
I think it's time to to rip off the band-aid. So Marlo's gonna come over. Um, even well, you know, I was gonna have Jade and everybody over, but like I kind of want it to be a more like intimate celebration. So we'll just we'll just blow them out. Like she doesn't want to draw attention to the fact that she's gonna be an adult now. So we're just gonna kind of do it in silence as if it never happened. Uh, Kill on the other hand, I wonder if he's gonna come over and get a little get a little get a little uh, slice of that cake. He wants to babble to Benjamin. Marlo has aged up. Adulthood fulfilling dreams planning for retirement and midlife crisis is the the perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Well, our one of our goals for being um, a young adult was to have a baby and we did. So that's why it's really exciting. I love how she just aged up in her moo moo. And oh, Jade did decide to show up after all. You know what? Like, people don't forget about Marlo. I love how, even though she kind of wanted to be alone for her birthday, her friends weren't going to let her down. Her friends weren't going to let her down. There's just one other person that I kind of want to see. And it's Olive. In fact, I also would really like to give Olive a makeover in this episode as well because um, she was just someone that Marlo. Marlo, like, kind of, you know, had a, well, had a close bond with when she was a child. And then as she got older and became a teenager, you know, things kind of got a little more distant, which is normal. But she still thinks about her from time to time. I love how this was supposed to be a private celebration, but everybody still showed up to the occasion. I'm not sure if you guys would remember, but did Olive wear glasses as a kid? Because if not, well, I gave her some because I kind of felt like it fit her aesthetic. Also, side note, I love how casual her outfit choices are. Like, she could not be bothered. And I don't know. She's just a really cute little kid. So anyways, um, I totally forgot that Ben is working from home today, which just so means we have a bunch of promo promotion tasks, blah, that we need um, to accomplish. And what reminded me was the fact that he got a whim to get a promotion. So I'll try to work on those. Um, I believe Marlo and Jade are kind of having... You know, a little a little chat here in the garden. I also wanted Ben, after he is done um, hanging out with Honcho, to come over and create a special birthday fizz for Mar. Now, I do see that Olive is feeling kind of sad. So Ben's going to try to, like, you know, perk her up a little bit with um, a knock-knock joke, which I'm sure is going to go over swimmingly because, you know, he's so good with teenagers and all. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that he was one, even though it genuinely genuinely feels like a freaking lifetime ago. Um, let's try it one more time because for whatever reason, she kind of blew off the first uh, the first attempt. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to try to give her a little knock knock joke. I like how Tina's just kind of outside enjoying the um, the sunset here. And then Marlo, on the other hand, uh, what is she going to go do? She's going to go in and chat with um, Jade and Tina. So once we're done trying to cheer up um, 
all of here. We're gonna go and load some ingredients. Jade is all sorts of freaking pissed off, and uh, it looks like our little Picasso over here wants to go and make a mess. He also has like this thirst for knowledge. Like he constantly wants to read books, or he wants to, you know, um, be shown flashcards, things of that nature. I'm really curious to see what type of kid Kale is going to be. All right, so we have a few different ingredients. We've got apples, we've got grapes, we've got some honey, we've got some plantains, now, I'm going to probably load up a couple plantains. Um, can I do... It has to only be... I can't mix and match. I thought we had the skill where we could mix and match. Now, if I do honey, is that going to be kombucha? I'm curious. I only got two honey pots. So we're going to go and use those just to see what um, what we end up creating. Because, you know, <laughs> Marlo is Ben's little pot of honey, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, we're going to start fizzing for 38 simoleons. And then what is he doing? Oh, he's letting her know that um, he is making her the fizz. Cool. What is Mar doing? She's checking out. Uh, she's checking up on Olive right now. What is her issue? What is wrong with her? I feel so bad. She seems really upset, but I can't I can't envision why. Um, let me see. We're going to enthuse about some cakes a little bit. We'll try to like get on her level by maybe enthusing about hmm, video games. Does she like video games? I don't really know if, if Olive likes video games or not. Okay, so Ben is fizzing. Jade is is literally fizzing herself because she's so freaking pissed. Is there anything that we needed to do? We needed to submit a municipal concept. Do we actually have any of those? Uh, we need to probably draft one. Um, so we're gonna draft a municipal concept blueprint while we're waiting for the while we're waiting for the fizz. It is a busy damn house. Like, can we just for a second? <laughs> it is crazy right now. It's so freaking busy. Um, so we'll do one of those, and then we're gonna interview somebody about utilities, which I could probably just interview Jade on. Honestly, I don't really think she's in the mood, but we're going to go for it anyway. Um, I don't remember how to do this because it's been, gosh, too freaking long. Too long. Um, interview about utilities. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we should be able to do that. Um, I want Marlo to come over here and kind of scold Kale, who looks like he's working up a good one. Um, I want to I want to scold him for making a little mess. Not like, you know, yell at him or anything, but... Kind of, you know, encourage him not to do that. Discipline, recent behavior. We're going to be calm. I think Ben would probably be more strict, honestly. But Marlo would probably be... Actually, you know what? I think I think it's the other way around. Yell? Yeah, she can't do it. I think maybe they'll just both be calm parents because I, I couldn't yell at him. He's so cute. Like, how could you yell at him? He's so happy about the... Oh, <laughs> did you see that little side eye he gave? Like, could you seriously tell me? Tell me you could yell at this face. Tell me. You can't. Marlo just reached level two of the parenting skill. Olive is still standing here completely and utterly <laughs> unimpressed. Jade is now angry for some reason, which I can't envision why she would be so damn upset. It's supposed to be a happy day. And where the hell is the concept that we drafted up? These are like beach owls. I don't understand. Draft municipal concept, modify concept. Oh, we already have like a couple. <laughs> Oh, Jade isn't too impressed with Benjamin's interview technique and questions. Benjamin gets told in no uncertain terms that it is none of their business. Well, like, squeeze the F out of me, Miss Snippity Snip Snip. Anyway, we're going to go over here and mind our business by uh, submitting one of the concepts. I didn't even realize. I think that's actually the wrong one. Um, I didn't even realize, like, we had so many of these. And, like, here I am, like, drafting up a bunch. At least we'll have a couple in stock so that, you know, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> we won't have to keep drafting new ones. So, anyway, what is Mar doing? She's, uh, oh, she's... She's talking to Kale. She's teaching him how to talk. Um, ooh, Candy. I wanted to see how things would go if we went on a date together. Are you interested? You know what that is? Can I? Ooh, oh, wait. Hold on. So, Werv, I actually thought, I thought Ben was getting, I thought Ben was getting this notification. My bad. All right. We are getting a phone call. I did my best to try to keep the secret about throwing you a baby shower, Benjamin. I hope you aren't too busy to come. Um, I'm not having a baby. I think you've got the, uh, the, 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 the wrong number here. Anyway, um. Um, ben wants to go and travel to the museum. Ooh, that would be a lot of fun to take Kale to the museum. Like, they want to give him the best education, the best upbringing. I'm really excited to see who he's going to be. Like, I think he's going to do amazing things. Okay, so we do need to work on our charisma skill a little bit just to try to, you know, get towards this promotion. Ooh, let's check, check up on our... 
or if it's not ready yet, um, we can do the whole like, you know, charisma crap later. It is like, a, like I said earlier, uh, Mars birthday. So we really want to just kind of focus in on her. Um, I do really feel bad for Olive for whatever reason. She's just like in such a nasty mood. What is going on with our fabricator? Actually, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. Um, maybe after Mar is done teaching. Oh my God. Look at his little hands. I'm obsessed with this kid. He's so cute. Oh, he's also really sleepy. All right. So Mar needs to actually put little man um it's like nine o'clock uh to bed but first we're gonna go and potty train kale and then we'll go and read kale to sleep because he has been dying to be read a book bringing out the best from adoring someone nearby marlo can be inspired to be her best self around a sim that's incredible i love seeing how much he has completed her family um i think everybody is leaving the uh, this should be just about finished. So we're going to have Ben um, come out here and grab that. Like I said, I think everybody left, but I'm not sure if Olive is still kind of lingering around. There's not really much to do here, so I'm pretty sure she probably went home with her mom. Um, and I also don't think Tina's pregnant, by the way. Like, I really thought she was, but uh, yeah, she, she, she's not. <laughs> not at all. Uh, fizzy honey. Um, I kind of want to call it something cheesy. Uh, honey, I'm home. Or honey, I love you. Or you're like my honey pot is that i don't know it can't get much cheesier than this y'all so i found this quote that's called life is the flower for which love is the honey so ben decided to name this fizz honey love which is actually really appropriate if you think about it because we've kind of had this honey themed for or this honey theme i'm sorry drop the d <laughs> literally um without intentionally doing so so i think it's pretty cool um i'm gonna put the fizz right here next to her honey cake which she actually hasn't eaten after she is done um reading kale a little a little bedtime story uh we are gonna go down and try our cake as well as our honey um ben is feeling a little what is he feeling right now he's feeling something hold on a second we got a sentiment from growing family hold on wait hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up is this like a, a sentiment that we're gonna have like on our person or is this just going to be um open-hearted let me see we are we don't have any sentiments towards mar um let me see let's try it over here open sim profile she doesn't have a sentiment towards him do we have a sentiment towards kale adoring okay so we do actually have a couple sentiments towards our son anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and let ben and marlo enjoy the rest of their evening please 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 in the comments down below for the question of the day give me some ideas of things that we can do for kale or do with kale like maybe go to the museum or take him to like um a children's park something that will get his mind oh, stimulated like i said ben and marlo um really want to be the best parents for this little one and give Give him a life full of a promise. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.